Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to discuss a very rare congenital condition called ectrodactyly, sometimes also referred to as split hand slash split foot malformation. This condition is extremely rare and can be surprising for parents when a baby is born with it. But understanding it properly can help you manage it with care and love. In this video, we will cover what ectrodactyly is, how it occurs, its causes, possible treatments, and how families can support babies born with this condition. We will also explain the challenges these babies may face and how medical science can help. Whether you are a parent, medical student, or just curious, this video is for you. Ectrodactyly is a congenital malformation that affects the hands, feet, or sometimes both. In simple words, it means that some fingers or toes may be missing, underdeveloped, or fused, giving the hand or foot a split appearance which is why it is also called split hand slash split foot malformation. This condition can affect one side of the body or both sides, and it can vary in severity. In some babies, only one finger or toe is missing, while in others, the central fingers or toes may not develop at all, creating a gap in the hand or foot. Ectrodactyly is extremely rare. According to medical research, it occurs in 1 in 90,000 to 150,000 live births. It can happen sporadically with no family history, or it can be genetically inherited, often in an autosomal dominant pattern, which means a single copy of the altered gene from one parent can cause the condition. It is important to note that while ectrodactyly affects the structure of hands and feet, it usually does not affect the baby's intelligence or overall health. Many children with this condition can live perfectly normal lives with the right medical care and support. The causes of ectrodactyly can be genetic or environmental. Most cases are linked to gene mutations that affect limb development in the womb. Some of the common genetic causes include mutations in the TP63 gene, which plays a crucial role in the development of hands, feet, and facial structures. If this gene is altered, it can prevent certain fingers or toes from forming properly. Ectrodactyly can appear as an isolated condition or as part of a syndrome, such as EEC syndrome, ectrodactyly, ectodermal dysplasia, and cleft lips slash palate. Babies with syndromes may have additional features such as skin, hair, or facial abnormalities. Environmental factors during pregnancy may also contribute in rare cases, though genetics is the most common cause. Maternal health, medications, or exposure to certain chemicals can sometimes increase the risk of congenital limb differences. It is essential for parents to understand that ectrodactyly is not caused by anything they did or didn't do during pregnancy. It is a natural variation of development that happens before birth. Ectrodactyly is usually diagnosed at birth, when doctors notice the characteristic split hand or split foot appearance. In some cases, it can even be detected before birth via prenatal ultrasound. During a prenatal scan, experienced doctors can observe the absence or malformation of fingers or toes, which may alert them to the condition. After birth, doctors usually perform physical examinations, check for associated conditions, and sometimes recommend genetic testing to understand the cause. Pediatricians may also refer parents to a geneticist or orthopedic specialist to create a care plan. Early diagnosis helps families prepare for the medical and emotional support their baby may need. Ectrodactyly does not have a single cure, but treatment focuses on improving functionality and appearance. Treatment options vary depending on severity, number of fingers or toes affected, and the baby's overall health. Surgical options. A reconstructive surgery can improve hand or foot function and reduce gaps. A surgeries are often planned in stages, depending on the child's growth. A some children may need prosthetic devices to enhance grip or mobility. Therapies and support. Occupational therapy helps children learn how to perform daily activities. A physical therapy can improve mobility, strength, and flexibility. The adaptive tools and devices can help children use their hands and feet more effectively. Psychological support. The emotional support is crucial for both the baby and the family. A parent should focus on love, encouragement, and acceptance, helping the child build confidence. A support groups and counseling can help families connect with others facing similar challenges. With proper care, children with ectrodactyly can participate in normal activities, attend school, and lead fulfilling lives. We hope this video has explained what ectrodactyly is, its causes, treatments, 
and how families can support affected children. Every child deserves love, care, and opportunities to shine, no matter how their hands or feet look. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more educational content on rare conditions, newborn care, and parenting tips. Thank you for watching and remember, every child is special, and knowledge is the first step in providing the best care.